Hey guys, you're watching Fangs TV. Uh, today we're going to do a video on the Brachypelma Amelia. Um, this is very similar to the Brachypelma Bomai or the Brachypelma Smithy, the Mexican Redney, which uh, many people have known uh, from movies and stuff like that. Um, this is a semi hannibal tarantula. As you can see here, she's actually rearing up a little bit. That would be one defensive mechanism that a tarantula has. Basically, they would sit back and raise their fangs up a little bit in the air and just say, hey, I'm here, you know, watch out. Another defense they might have is uh, using urticating hairs, which are, um, basically it's a fancy term for itchy hairs. Uh, that's found on the abdomen right there, uh, where Mike is uh, showing. Uh, and basically that would just be a defensive mechanism towards larger predators that may want to come up and... Uh, take a little nibble out of her but um, as you can see she's being a really good specimen um, like I said we wouldn't uh, necessarily advise people holding any species of tarantulas because of course anything with fangs has the ability to bite you uh, so you are taking your uh, your own risks there holding tarantulas so that's really up to the the person yeah it's up to the, to the individual um, you can hold whatever you want people hold cobras people <laughs> pet tigers so if you want to hold your tarantula I mean that's on you but you know again it's uh, a stressful time for the tarantula being held uh, it's also dangerous uh, could fall could run away things can happen but again it's personal preferences uh, you know we just kind of like to really enjoy them uh, we don't really hold them too much so this species is uh, native to the uh, Mexico region the countries around there uh, so usually the substrate would be dry uh, in the 30 to 40 percent humidity range you really don't have to worry about too much moisture uh, we always advise keeping a small little water dish in there just in case the tarantula does get uh, thirsty or needs a drink most of the food that this animal will take in will be in uh, through the form of feeders so make sure that you're always uh, giving your feeders plenty of water, uh, oh. fresh vegetables, stuff like that, because they will absorb those yeah, nutrients. Yeah, I'll say from my experience with this individual, Amelia, she covers her water bowl. So I uh, more or less just kind of wet the corner of the substrate for her, uh, and uh, therefore she can undig and move or bury the water dish. Uh, in a sense, that's what she was doing anyway, and she's thriving uh, very well. Very slow grower, but, you know, it is thriving, and as you can see, uh, they're very placid and really don't move around too much in the enclosure, so they make in great display tarantulas because they're pretty much primarily always out. And I'll just get a little bit of close-up here, but I just want to thank everyone for tuning into this episode of Fangs TV. Make sure to like us and subscribe, and uh, as always, uh, have a good day.